Welcome back to the shop. Watford here. Um, got a nice board here on the table in front of me. Another RV project. Apparently when the kids jump on the table in the RV, it will break. Here is our actual table from the motorhome. And down there is where the brackets go that hold it to the wall and then they pop loose and let it go down into the bed into the bed position and you can see they got ripped right out and this is cheap cardboardy particle board screws just don't grip into it very good this is where the leg bolted on this was this was still all right I just took it off because we're gonna swap it out over to this and what I did was I just got two pieces you can see the glue line in the middle. Okay, this is 1x16 Ponderosa pine. And I glued it in the middle with a lot of glue and used a big set of clamps and clamped it together. Now I'm going to cut it down to size and I'm going to put some more pieces of wood under here on the bottom side just to support it and make this joint stronger because I don't want it to split in half while we're eating on it or some, while somebody's sleeping on it. So we'll run some one by twos across, I think four of them across, screw them into it, trim it to size, and I'm going to put some kind of a urethane coating pretty thick on it, and I think it'll probably look a lot better than the table that we had. Okay, I'm just going to use this as a, this board here as a guide for my saw, and I made this line first and then I thought about it again and realized I need to be back here. Um, I'm going to have my seam in the very center so I'm going to move it back here so then I can go 15 and a quarter inches this way and 15 and a quarter inches that way will give me 30 and a half inches which is what I need for my width. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this on the line, on this line. Then I'm going to measure from this edge, make sure I'm 30 and a half exactly over to my line, and then I'll cut the other side. And then I also need to cut this down from 48 inches down to 39 inches for the length of the table. So I'll do that after. Then I also have this can I'm going to put on the corner and mark my radius. And I'll use a jigsaw to cut the corners. And I'll come through and sand and round the edges off top and bottom. Make it look a lot nicer. Sand in the middle. Sand everything really good and then put um, a bunch of urethane on it before I put it in. Got the table cut down to size. I rounded the corners, that one, and under the level here. Um, I've made supports going across to keep the table from splitting again in the middle where it's glued together. And I had to leave them back. These are 28 and a half. My table measures 30 and a half because this has to fit down. I'll, I'll show you that later when I put it together. So it has to have a little bit of lip on each side to hang over. I'm going to space these apart, probably equal, and I have to save enough room. So I'm going to do the back by the wall, right where I have the lines marked here, which would be the same distance from the edge as the front side over there. And that leaves me enough room for these brackets where the hangers go that let it swing up and hook to the wall and then they also let it swing down into the bed position so I gotta find the other one of them. I'm missing one of them and they're gonna go somewhere in here once I measure it out but tonight I'm just gonna glue I'm gonna use some wood glue glue these in screw them in call it good flip it over and then I can finish my sanding and get my holes drilled out for my brackets and then I'm probably gonna drill my holes for my leg tonight because I'm gonna pull that out 
my leg is going to hook right onto that one. And then I'm going to have another short one in there. Okay, so here's the table all in place. I know I skipped a little bit, but yeah, I forgot, I forgot to record what I was doing. Did a bunch of sanding, put some uh, clear finish on it, and it really made the color pop out kind of a yellowish because it's oil based and it looks really nice. And then I had to do underneath, see if I can't show you what I got under there. So underneath, I ran the brackets that go right to the edge. They can't go quite to the edge because they have to set on they have to set on this lip here. So the support board has to be back that that far. So I ran four of those and that should keep it from uh, splitting on the seam. And then this is where I mounted the leg on one of them. And then I also glued another board there for the other part of it. The tricky part was back here, um, getting these brackets on right. What I had to do is I had to had the leg fastened on, kind of put the table in place, had the brackets kind of setting in here. And my son was pushing and holding it up against the wall. And I had to keep measuring. You can see I had a mark there. I had it way off when I first started. So I had to keep measuring and, and moving it over to get it centered. Then I got it centered and laid here. I laid here on my back and put all these screws in. And then what this rod here does is this lets you pop it out from the wall. You can lift up on the outer part and uh, those go up into a little bracket and those will pop out of the bracket and then this uh, this part here will swing down instead of up and then you can lay it on the uh, on the bench part and turn this dinette into a bed.